What's going on everyone? It's Ritz Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. I have Maven Beauty, Fashion Nova, you may have heard of it. They have a makeup line with like the orange aesthetic. It reminds me of very much as like Hermes. Hermes on the website called Maven Beauty and I have it all right here. And what I wanna do is just go through the entire collection with you guys and give you my honest opinion and what I think about it. See what you like, see what we don't like and see how it goes from there. The vibe of the video, just kick back and it's like you're watching a friend play with some new makeup. I wanna say a big thank you for Fashion Nova Maven Beauty for sponsoring this video and sending me the entire collection. You guys know I'm gonna be honest with you in my review about this makeup and let's get on with the drama. All right, first thing I wanna show, just because I feel like a lot of people are just gonna want to know they do have palettes they have some really cool products i want to check out their lipsticks right now okay so this is the packaging it has like these lips coming out with the black and white i really do like that and there you go so this color is going to be called buena i'm going to open it this way so everything is orange in this entire makeup collection i like that that's like their aesthetic so it has the m right there for maven and i'm going to open it up here and here you go let's see here my first initial review let's see does it have a scent to it? Hold on. Mm -mm. No. No scent at all. Cool, cool, cool. So if you're into cosmetics and doesn't have any fragrance, then I would definitely check this one out. But this is a really pretty color, and that one was Buena. Next up, we're going to have Sus. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a velvet. Sus, like suspect. Oh, my gosh. All right. Same thing. Really cool, pretty packaging. And on the side here, it says Maven, just like that. This color looks really good, too. So I'm going to put it on here. They go on very, very, very smooth. I think I might... I think I might like this one. I think I might try this one on. So give me a second. So I might try that one on. And then we have Thrills and Snatch. I like the names. Like, I think they're very, I think like whoever came up with this brand and the names, I think they're very on trend right now. All right, so here's this one. And I'm gonna just, oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, I see what they're doing. Okay, all right, I see you. And then here's Snatched. And I'm opening this one up. And here's what we got here. So definitely covering their nudes. Definitely doing that. Okay, wow. So there is the lipstick lineup. I like these two definitely. I feel like they fit my aesthetic more. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on Sus. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know. It's always like that inner corner. I always got it like kind of, okay. I, I don't know, let me know what you think about it. Like, I think it matches me really, really good. It's super creamy and it goes on really, really smooth. Let's see. A little bit of transfer, I like that, but not too much, awesome. All right, we got some more. This one is called Teddy. And what Teddy is, it's a cream eyeshadow. And I freaking, let me just see this in my color. Like, I like when makeup brands do like creams like this because it's just so easy to put on cream eyeshadows. And this one is called Brulee. So there you go, it's Teddy. All right, I'm gonna put some here. This one, I think I might like that one, okay. So the way I put on my cream eyeshadows, I literally like to like dab it on like that and just get it with a brush and it picks it up really nice. So this was a really clean brush and I put the product on there. I just like to get it and just cream it on there. It's like real nice. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick like little before and after, but cream to me will last a lot longer than powder. So let me see, so there you go. It's just bare, and then here it is with the cream eyeshadow on there. So I'm going to think about that. You see it? It definitely gave me a color on there. Really neat. So we do have some waterproof liquid eyeliner. You have to twist it. There you go. And then you can, you guys can see. Wow. Okay, and here's the pin. So I want you to see the point. Okay, and let's see. There you go, she's on point. Here is the other color for the liquid eyeliner. Now I already know, when it comes to the lipsticks, there's one right here and I think you guys might like this one. This one is called like a mauve red and I'm gonna put it right here so you can see that. And oh, I think this is a really good red. Wow, that's beautiful. So this is Mama Jamma, it's another liquid eyeliner. So when you open up the product, it's gonna look like that. And so you gotta kinda just put it back in there. You twist at the bottom. There you go. And then you have the product is there. Oh, you saw it, there you go. And I'm just gonna put some on there and there is Mama Jama right there. See that? It's almost like a goldish green color, I like that. Up next is gonna be the highlighters and the palette. So I think we should start with the highlighters first. So this is gonna be dripped out and again, it has that orange packaging. This name, I like the name a lot. So I'm going to, well, I don't wanna use that finger. We'll use this one cause it's clean. And I'm gonna give it a little swirl here. Wow, oh my gosh, there it is. It's like liquid gold. 
Check that out. It's right on top. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. This, uh, there you go. This is good. Oh my god. It, this color, it really suits me. I like that one. Whoa. Now, there is another highlighter that I have here. This one is called Drake Up. I mean, these names. I freak. I, I love the names. I have a clean finger right here. I'm gonna give it a little swatch. And there's that one. Wow. Now let's get on with the palettes because there's a lot of palettes. Okay, so this palette is called Medium Blend and it shows you the colors up here. So very fall, neutral, tan colors. The palettes look like that. They're like basically quads. And I love how it's like very futuristic. It's like see-through, you can see through it and you can see the colors there. I personally, just because like I love makeup so much and I see these, I think like, oh, this is something that I could maybe like contour with down the middle of the nose. I can also, if I wanna make my nose look more snatched, I can also do that with it. So to me, I just don't think of it as just like, oh, eyeshadows. I think of it as like, oh, I can kind of use it for other things as well. So let me see, I'll put a little a little bit on there so it goes on very well it is very pigmented of course very smooth i'm not seeing that much fallout but putting it on i do like i actually kind of like it better than the cream one just the color but i think that one looks very natural to me we have another one called bold blend so here you go so i want to go ahead and just like swat some of it for you guys boom whoa and let me grab this like nice little burgundy color I'm gonna put that right there, and there you go. They're very pigmented, I like that. Now there's another palette called Spotlight, and that is what this one looks like. Ooh, Soft Blend, I think would have to be my most favorite palette, this whole entire collection. It's because it's a very, like, just like cool tone palette. It looks so pretty. I really do think that I would use out of all the palettes, I think I'll use this one the most just for like this color right here. Only because like I have like super small like hooded eyes. And so I feel like if I can get color up in here, I can kind of just make myself look more awake. I can make it look like kind of cheat the camera so I don't have like that much of a hooded eye. I can just like brighten up the eye area here. There you go. Oh. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys if like I feel off in this video. I'm literally like just laser focused on this. I think it's I think it's fun. And here is that one right here. So I would say honestly in my opinion soft blend would have to be my favorite because I could definitely use this one. As for the packaging, I really do like how everything comes out with like the orange aesthetic. It reminds me of very much as like Hermes. Hermes. I, I like it, it's cute. So that was my first impressions, just checking out, playing with the Maven Beauty. You can definitely check it out on Fashion Nova. Thank you again for sponsoring me this video. I can't wait to see what else comes as for like brushes and more colors and all that stuff like that. So if you're into it or wanna check it out, definitely check it out, put the link down below and their Instagram as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.